So this video demonstrates the toe sit and the variations and progressions and regressions we can use to try to master the position. So what the toe sit is, what we're looking for is butt towards the heels, hamstrings and calves in contact. And we're also looking for the ball of the foot to be in contact with the ground as our toes are tucked under into uh, dorsiflexion. Um, the other thing would be that our heels are gonna be a little bit more behind the ball of the foot. So if I don't have some type of assistance here, I can't really get into the position. I can tuck my toes under, I can kind of tolerate this position, I can have contact with the hamstrings and the calves, but the ball of my foot cannot come in contact with the ground. So what I'm gonna need to do is elevate my knees. So I'm gonna use the uh, two Arix pads, but you can use anything you find around the home, cushions or anything like that. You just have to get yourself high enough on the knees that you can make contact with the ball of the foot, especially the ball of the big toe. So once you're there, now you're in a more, much more stable position. You're also gonna get in a scenario where the heel is more behind the ball of the foot, which promotes more dorsiflexion. All right, so you wanna just be able to spend some time here, be able to do some movements from here, be able to shift, breathe, do all those things that would allow you to relax into a position. So if it's still too intense, I can use a wedge, which I really like to just add a little bit. If I just need a little bit more elevation, I can add a little bit. If I need a lot more, I can really get a bit higher on the wedge and that makes it even more comfortable. So it's a game of inches. You can find what you're, you're able to tolerate just by using some cushions and some wedges. All right, from there, in a position I can comfortably hang out in, I can add arm reaching like we've done with the other ground sitting positions. So I can go protraction, I can go overhead position, I can reach down into scapular depression, and then I can bring myself back into shoulder extension with hip extension. So I'm just moving around the position. All of that's gonna be changing the position of my shoulder blade as well as changing the position of my trunk. Uh, from here, if I also feel like I need a little bit of help to for my knees to decompress uh, knee flexion, I'm just gonna also add a little bit of space between the hamstring and the calf with a wedge or a cushion. All right, so there's a bunch of different variations we can use to get more comfortable in this position. This can be a tough one because a lot of people are limited in dorsiflexion, myself included, but it can be a very valuable position to master.